Call him Mr. Ambitious because he's always inventing something. Elon Musk is not your ordinary billionaire. He works more than beehive soldiers protecting the queen bee. If he's not developing rockets, he's improving his Tesla brand. One of his latest projects has everything to do with the new 4680 Tesla battery. Please stick with us to the end as we unveil all the latest details we know about the new Tesla 4680 battery. The 4680 Tesla battery cell was unveiled at Tesla's Battery Day in September 2020. Tesla has been running a pilot factory for the new battery cell in Fremont, where CEO Elon Musk has been guiding the team, hoping to reach a production capacity of 10 gigawatt hours by the end of 2021. But it seems that goal will remain a dream, at least for now, especially timeline-wise. In June 2021, during the presentation of quarter two financial results, Tesla released a rare update on cell development. It read in part, we have successfully validated the performance and lifetime of our 4680 cells produced at our Cato facility in California. We are nearing the end of manufacturing validation at Cato. Field quality and yield are at viable levels, and our focus is now on improving the 10% of manufacturing processes that currently bottleneck production output. While substantial progress has been made, we still have work ahead of us before we can achieve volume production. Internal crash testing of our structural park architecture with a single piece front casting has been successful. In short, Tesla managed to get some progress done, but they still have more work to do before achieving any volume production. The 4680 battery cell is expected to power several of Tesla's upcoming new vehicle programs, including Tesla Semi and Model Y, produced at Gigafactory in Texas and Berlin. At the Battery Day in September 2020, Musk claimed that by September 2021, Tesla would hit around 10 gigawatt hours capacity producing the new cells. However, in 2021, the production yield was a paltry 20%. And it's not surprising because this is not just a switch to a larger cell with the same technology. The new cell is Tablet. It is meant to involve dry electrode production that drastically reduces the number of stages in manufacturing and uses different materials for the anodes and cathodes. The media batteries will also become part of the car's structure, allowing Tesla to remove chassis elements used purely to provide a stiff casing for the cells, saving car weight and maximizing the space available. All of these developments would eventually allow Tesla to reduce battery costs by 56% per kilowatt hour, which would have a considerable impact on car pricing at the budget end of the market and enable vehicles with a much longer range for current premium prices. When Elon Musk cancelled the Tesla Model S Plaid Plus, he argued that the Plaid was fast enough. However, another theory is that because the Plaid Plus promised 520 miles of range, this necessitated the 4680 cells being available in quantity, which they just aren't yet. The arrival of the Cybertruck and Semi is apparently being delayed to 2022 by the slow ramping up of 4680 cell productions too. And the Tesla Model Y cars from Tesla's factories in Berlin and Texas will continue to use the 2170 cells for the time being. They were supposed to be switching to the 4680. The delay in the production of cell 4680 is crushing Musk's deadline dreams. It is well understood that Tesla likes to make its own components to reduce dependence on others, a clear result of how Elon Musk sees and approaches work. This is quite the opposite of the big two, Ford and General Motors, which farm out every piece of the car they can. Tesla started making seats for its cars when availability and customization from existing manufacturers were limited. Tesla's seats are now great. The same is also true of their electric motors and gearboxes and suspension components made in-house. So it's only consistent that it would be Musk's desire for Tesla to make its own vehicle batteries as well, instead of having a vendor make batteries to their specification. Tesla has plenty of battery demand to satisfy its original Gigafactory partner, Panasonic. There are the Powerwall batteries and the bigger battery packs for utilities, among other things that use the original battery size. However, better batteries for its cars and trucks were desired, and so is more production. Elon Musk recently clarified that Tesla's new 4680 cells are already being deployed in some of its vehicles as prototypes. Even more interesting is that the next generation batteries have already been in use for several months. However, the CEO did not state which of its vehicles are equipped with the 4680 Roadrunner batteries. The Tesla CEO related his update in a recent post on Twitter. While responding to a question about the company's strategy with its cathodes and its suppliers, Musk noted that Tesla's own battery cells are already powering some of its cars. 
That being said, Musk clarified that ultimately, prototypes such as cars that currently run in the company's 4680 cells are trivial, as they are incomparably simpler than actual volume production. We're only doing high-energy nickel ourselves, at least for now. Also, maybe the presentation wasn't clear that we've actually had our cells in packs driving cars for several months. Prototypes are trivial, volume production is hard, Musk wrote. Using 4680 cells for the Cybertruck and the Semi would be strategic for Tesla, especially since both are heavy-duty machines that are designed to be as tough as possible. The Cybertruck is quite literally created to topple the kings of the pickup market, and the Semi is designed to disrupt the long-haul segment, which is known for its consistent, heavy demands for its vehicles. Needless to say, Tesla's metal as an automaker will be put to the test by the Cybertruck and Semi, and their 4680 high nickel cells could be their trump card against the competition. To reach the desired levels of volume output of the new cell, Tesla will need loads of nickel. Elon Musk's nickel plea can be satisfied with a Tanzania mine, says Kambangan Nickel. The mine and plant there could help reduce the ever-growing demand for nickel from electric vehicle manufacturers. Kambanga Nickel is seeking to raise $1.3 billion for a major mining project in Tanzania that the company says could help reduce voracious demand from electric vehicle manufacturers for a nickel. Nickel is a key component of lithium-ion batteries and is helping car manufacturers reduce the use of controversial cobalt. During the Tesla Q2 2020 earnings call, CEO Elon Musk urged miners to invest in sustainable nickel as the production of electric vehicles will increase over the next few years. I'd just like to re-emphasize, any mining companies out there, please mine more nickel. Okay, wherever you are in the world, please mine more nickel. And don't wait for a nickel to go back to some long, some high point that you experienced some five years ago, whatever. Go for efficiency, obviously environmentally friendly nickel mining at high volume. Tesla will give you a giant contract for a long period of time if you mine nickel efficiently and in an environmentally sensitive way. So hopefully this message goes out to all mining companies. Please get a nickel, the billionaire said. Tesla's relentless pursuit of vertical integration comes from a desire to eliminate inefficiencies and improve the product's sustainability. A byproduct of Tesla's vertical integration is a much-needed improvement in cost, driving the price of Tesla's products down over time. The tabless architecture of the new 4680 cells also has a direct impact on improving manufacturability. Not only does the tabless design eliminate the need for a tab, but it also eliminates the need for the production lines to pause to add the tabs. The new tabless cells eliminate the bump in the road, enabling a manufacturing line that is less prone to manufacturing defects as it hums along, rolling up and spitting out massive 4680 cells. Tesla's new 4680 battery cell represents a paradigm shift in automotive energy storage. The new cells are far cheaper and can store far more power per unit of volume. They have been redesigned as structural elements of the vehicle, resulting in a more affordable, more rigid vehicle. If several battery suppliers start producing these cells for Tesla, we could see a real shift in the industry to this new format. But until the demands for nickel are met, Elon Musk and his team can only admire that dream from a distance. Do you believe that the eventual arrival of Tesla's new 4680 battery cells will impact the EV market in a big way? And if so, how? Let us know in the comments section down below. Until next time, thank you for watching.